Welcome back to Primetime Local News. Josh and Buck here with your sports talk on a Monday. And uh, we're in that transitional mm -hmm. phase, as we kind of said last weekend, um, the transitional phase of the sports seasons as hockey's starting to yeah. end, basketball's ending, we're shifting into baseball, track and field, other sports. But a couple of uh, hockey events to still talk about, starting with senior AA men's provincials, the Hillmont Hitman. Uh, were a representative there and had a, had yeah. a rough go of it. Yeah, they had a rough go of it. They, they lose their first game to Days Line 7 nothing. And really, we talked about this before in those provincial round robin games. And, and the Rohan Bobcats were a team that hosted. The Steelers were a team that went to. And, and you have to win that first game. You, you almost have to. At least have a good performance. And they didn't. They lost 7 nothing. So you're kind of fighting against it going into that second round robin game. And things didn't go well in that second game. And they don't go any further. Uh, you know what? Uh, give credit to Wainwright. Uh, they had a good run. The wrestlers did. Uh, Daysland got to the final. Uh, but you know what? Uh, it, it was a tough battle in that final. And a team that was led by Kyle Harris ended up winning it. So, yeah, yeah, former Bobcats. Yeah. So cool to see that connection there. Um, another provincial championship upcoming now, the Junior B uh, championship. Um, for Alberta is going to go down in Wetaskiwin and uh, as you said in Wainwright um, not really a shock that they took the league no. crown they'll probably be the favorite to uh, repeat. Well they're defending provincial champions yeah. you're the champ until you're not a champ anymore. Uh, Wetaskiwin is going to be strong they're the host team. Uh, Beverly out of that capital league another strong team and, and a team that got a lot of fanfare out in southern Alberta's Airdrie who, who put up in godly numbers and, and ran, ran away with that league but it's a weak league. Uh, Wainwright plays in a very competitive league. Uh, the Capital League with Wetaskiwin and Beverly is a very competitive league. So don't be surprised if you see Beverly and possibly Wainwright in the final on Sunday in Wetaskiwin. I think if people don't see Wainwright, they'll definitely be shocked, yeah. uh, to say the least. Um, the AJHL season is still going, but they did decide to lay out the all-conference awards um, after they'd already mentioned, you know, best defenseman, best forward, best coach, but laid out the all-conference teams. A couple of local uh, mentions uh, worthy of the show. One is uh, Mason Waite, rookie Bobcats yep. defenseman, makes the all-rookie team. So a tough season, but some various young players on the team showing promise, Mason being one of them. Also, you have... Uh, Luke Albert on defense for the Bonneville Pontiacs, Grayson Constable on offense, a forward for the Pontiacs. They both make the North yeah. All-Conference team, so not yeah. the rookie yeah. team, All-Conference team. And then, of course, uh, T.J. Lloyd, the uh, defenseman of the year, also makes All-Conference playing for the Saints. Yeah, T.J. Lloyd, a Lloyd guy that, you know what, it, would the Bobcats love to have him? Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, but just a great defenseman, top defenseman in that league. Um, good to see a good rookie defenseman from the Bobcats getting the honors there. It shows you have the pieces, right? And, and you hope that that culture, as, as Nigel talks a lot about, that uh, hopefully he brings it with this kid on the back end. So it's good to sign that you have a rookie D-man that gets the honors in because you're going to have a young team again next year. And switching gears quickly to talk about the CPCA tarp sale. That's this week. Yeah, it is goes tomorrow night on the Lloyd X grounds, and this is toward the CPCA finals. So it's a it's a big night, and it's a sign like we were talking about the transition. Right now is that transition. Summer's coming. Yeah. The chuck wagons are coming. The Calgary Stampede tarp sale was just a short time ago, and now the CPCA finals. And before you know it, uh, CPCA will be rolling into action in June. Yeah, a few seconds left. Uh, if you had to pick one or two that are going to get uh, the big sponsorship dollars you pick. Because, no, PWM uh, Steel uh, is doing, going to stick for sure with, with Chris Mr. Molly. Molly. Yeah, and the other one, too, it's uh, Ray Mitzwing. This will be his final season racing. This will be his finals final. Uh, so over 30 years of being on the track, you know, great to see a guy like him and go for big dollars. Yeah, I'd love to see that as well. So we'll have more coming up on Primetime Local News.